Hello, welcome to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. And I'm here with tarot messages for the sign of Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome in, Leo. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to just get some general messages for the sign of Leo. All right? To see what's in your past. What are you leaving behind, Leo? And what to expect coming up in your future. And this can be your near future. And this can be your far future. Up to a year. Up to four years. Possibly. Right? So let's get some messages for you. Both in love, relationship, general messages for the sign of Leo. See, when we were just shuffling, we came, we saw the Cancerian card or the water card, the Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, and now we're seeing a water sign here again, the Page of Cups. And for me, this is saying like someone is coming into you to offer you love, affection, attention, to show gratitude, to say I'm sorry, just something that will touch you emotionally. Now, this don't necessarily have to be a person. This can be a situation. This can be you receiving a gift that's going to cause you to experience good emotions, satisfaction. Now, this could be something spiritual as well because the cup represents spirituality, like a higher sense of spirituality. So maybe you're coming into a sense of awareness and it has something to do with emotions in you. Now, your obstacle is the emperor card here. I feel like your obstacle may be um, really establishing your business. Maybe for some of you, you're focusing on your business and maybe, maybe I wanted to say maybe not having time to really invest in maybe a possible love connection here. Somebody interested in you. This could be a person that's actually in your life. Maybe a person that is older than you. Someone who is the head of their company, the CEO. Um, this could be a father figure as well. Or this could just be an energy, a d dominant or defiant energy in you. So we'll explore further, Leo. Hmm. So we have the Eight of Swords, but it is in the reversed. Reverse, I'll be reading it in the upright whilst considering it in the reversal. Eight of Swords is a feeling of trapped and I felt unkempt, not being, not put together, maybe it's in disillusioned um, maybe a lot to do with your thoughts right now the way you're processing your thoughts there's too much coming into you and so maybe I feel like maybe you need organization or clarity I feel like maybe you need to really put things together mentally before you can really settle down I feel you're really working on building and developing something here it could be your business some of you do feel trapped and it could be in this possible relationship that's romantic or business here. Like a commitment that you made prior. Like someone that is watching over you. It feels like a contract that was signed and it's, it has you bound to the situation. So it could be marriage for some people. Maybe you want to offer someone else love but you're caught in a marriage possible with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm also seeing Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what you're moving past or leaving behind. Hmm. Now this is air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now this is something that came into you forcefully. It could be a divorce. It could be wisdom and knowledge to act. It could be law enforcement, something that has to do with strictness and rules. It could have been a sentence, a time spent, maybe something is over. And let's see what you're looking forward to. Maybe you're looking forward to moving on, starting a new, maybe relocating here. Because the Ten of Wands is, I feel like it's the energy of things just coming into life. So you know that feeling of bursting out of the earth. 
yes, it is hard. It feels hard like you're starting over. But I feel it's, there's going to be that, uh, that feeling of pulling through, you know, like even doing exercises because this could be someone that's working out, keeping their minds busy, their body busy, looking fit here, looking attractive. And it's like um, remaining, being persevere, um, persevering against the odds. And then when you get that breakthrough, so I feel like it's a breakthrough coming. So let's see what's coming up for you. Oh my God, the world card is here for you. The world card signifies travel movement. So it could be you moving out, moving onward. Could be something coming into you. This could be some a birth, a birth of a child, possibly. This could be a proposal. And I feel like maybe business proposal. I feel like your reading is mainly business. And there's a little bit of love and affection here to begin with. But I feel like you're dealing with a lot. You're focusing on you when it comes to love. But you're, I feel like you're really working on establishing a business. Sagittarius energy here with the temperance card. Card of balance. It's kind of um, uniting two different two forces to make them work together, aligning two bodies together, so like earth and water. So I feel like you're working on balancing your emotions when it comes to your relationship and your business life. I feel like you want to take a break, take a breath, and just like maybe you don't want anyone to call you right now. You just need some peace of mind. So that you can regather yourself, like with the temperance card, even being patient here, just taking some time to yourself to really rejuvenate. Maybe you feel like you want to steal away sometimes, maybe move away from your house. Oh, the devil card. Maybe you fear what? You fear of moving into something toxic. You at the bottom of the deck, you also have a bit of suspicion here. Are you looking out for something, Leo? The outcome of the situation is the Ten of Cups energy. That's saying it's going to be successful. Happy there's going to be a new beginning, peace of mind, content. So maybe after you have dealt or overcome certain boundaries, you'll be ready to love because maybe you're not ready to love as yet. I feel like it is as if there's something that you're building first. As if you're busy. Imagine yourself as a busy crab, even though you're not Cancerian, just focusing intently on or a beaver or something like that that's building a dam. And like you have to be putting these things together. I don't see money here either. The sign of pentacles in your reading. So it it's not a value. It's not your value that you're working on. It's something physical. To be established. I feel like your reading is super powerful. Especially with the devil card. Prompt. Something saying prompt. So the seven of swords feel like prompt to me to Prompt. Impromptu. Obstacles. Failures. Interferences. Oh, I think it's just saying be wise, especially with the Ace of Swords card. Be wise. Like impromptu failures. Imp impromptu failures. And I hear technology too. Uh, so look into that. Huh, I feel something to do with the temperance card. Temperance. And I feel your fairy energy behind the temperance card here i feel maybe in the way you express yourself your vibrancy the way you put out as if you have a charge to overcome here that's the devil card and and remember you have to remember it is in you with the temperance card that all is in you so sometimes we focus on the external and try to manipulate our control what is on the external Forgetting that it can only be within us if it is if it is out there, it is inside of us. And the only way to truly align is to work on what is within 
first. Okay, with the with the with this with the temperance card. Remember that when dealing with this toxic devilish energy that it's something that you fear or you're on the lookout for, something you're nervous about. It may be a tax, it may be it's like a hmm. Okay, maybe it has something to do with your work. But I feel like at the end you'll be six successful you'll be celebrating like throwing your hands up in the air and going ha ha like overcoming i feel like you'll overcome it definitely yes i do feel i feel that for you leo this is overcoming it's not necessarily a relationship feels like you'll overcome whatever was laying in your way and that maybe this emperor card was something that had to do with law circumstances documents contracts you know that was that was, was preventing you from taking a step forward like um maybe interfering with the way you put carry your business out and so you had to wait you had to go to the court all of these things and then i feel like you pushed through it kind of helped to develop you too maybe you had to learn some more Maybe you felt like you went into this blind as a bat, just being tossed to the wolves. and But you kept fighting. <laughs> like, that's the energy I f I'm feeling. You keep fighting. Everything they throw at you, you eat it up. You and, like, you're coming out on top. Some of you may be traveling, moving away. I feel like this world card represents traveling, but... It's like you'll be shifting into a higher sense of self. As if once you get here, you'll... As if you'll start to radiate or gravitate to attract from this place. And I feel like it has a lot to do with your energy. Alright. Oh, we didn't ask for clarifications. Alright, let's get some... Let's get some clarifications. All right, clarify the devil energy. All right, so. Your obstacles definitely something maybe having to do with a marriage but has to do with money or a business connection having to do with money this maybe was a previous connection to someone that you were married to that you loved here i feel like uh maybe you're trying to get out of the situation or something having to do with a previous engagement a re love relationship and money that's preventing you or kind of is your obstacle for this week and you're wanting to find out how to move out of this trapped energy out of you want to be free yes you want to move on you want to be able to be free the world card is what is coming up for you moving past strife here as if you were dealt some a round of strife okay and you fear maybe you fear that you'll forever be engaged in this situation uh, maybe having to do with someone you were married to but i feel like this reading is say, coming to you to say to find remember that your internal world actually governs your external so pay attention to that energy in you and read into it inside so that's how you find that balance with the temperance card and then yes there's going to be something to celebrate that breakthrough here because you keep going at it with your leonian vibration here all right any last messages okay so what is like it's saying i feel like you're ready as if you you've been fighting off attacks advances so you're on guard on guard yeah i think you're on guard 
It's almost that energy of taking a break to relax. Does it, should Leah take new beginnings? Ten of Pentacles repeats. Like it's reassuring you that everything is going to be okay. Right? Should Leah take a break, relax? <sighs> that reassuring it's going to be okay. In the end, it's like there's definitely elevation here. I feel like trusting your intuition. Moving from the five to the seven of cups here. So, sh so definitely choosing to move along for the better. Maybe in love, this was a love connection. I feel maybe with a Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. But I feel things will soon be settled. <clears throat> Okay, any last messages from the Tara for Leo for this message, for this video? Tower. <laughs> okay, I feel like that is perfect. I feel like things will soon end. We got the Tower card here. <clears throat> so we got a couple of tens. We got the Tower card. Something will end, something will move out. Okay. Like something will break and it will give in. Yes, so like that's definitely that breakthrough energy here I'm feeling. So this tower card feels good, like a breakthrough, all right? A celebration. All right, thank you so much, Leah. I hope you found messages here that resonate with you and are able to help guide you along your journey. All right, remember, if you are interested in supporting this channel, check the description box subscribe to the channel and like the video thank you so much all of your support is very much appreciated remember Leah that you should, you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you much love take care bye thank you so much